Hey Legionnaires and welcome back to 1212 AD and England is in the middle of a civil war. This is the first battle of St. Albans here today and it is the start of the War of the Roses and my gosh is this a bloody bloody battle. We have St. Albans here, this mighty town that uh, the Lancastrians are defending with their king and they're fighting off against the Yorkist rebels, the scum who dare to rebel against their rightful king. So yes, we have a glorious battle here, a nice 3v3 with 1212 AD. It is a technically historic battle of sorts. Uh, I actually, even though I am like English, don't really know a lot about the English, uh, so like the War of the Roses. I really do not really know a lot. It's not really an area of interest to me. But oh my gosh, these buildings already focused down. Sorry getting distracted by what's actually going on in the battle. But yeah, I'm not really um, much uh, very knowledgeable in the uh, Wars of the Roses. Uh, they kind of come about because of two basically factions fighting uh, for sort of control of England. You have Yorkists and also the Lancastrians um, and they both are backed by powerful rulers of their own. So you've got like, I certainly know the Warwick for the Yorkists and then later on the, uh, the Lancastrian cause is quite a, a major you know he's a kingmaker basically a kingmaker and a kingbreaker um, but yeah we have the uh, the english here defending and uh, we have on the attack we have the welsh we basically have the same roster as the english but it's just a way to distinguish uh, the two sort of sides instead of just having uh, lancastrians and uh, like having english versus english basically it's a shame that isn't like a war of the roses sort of roster so you can have like lancastrians and yorkists and they have like sort of like white roses and red roses on them that would be quite cool in my opinion. Yeah, the Archer Fire coming in doing a lot of damage on both sides here. And uh, yeah, a lot of bloody fighting already going on. A lot of blobbing going on I like to say as well um, by both sides here. Really uh, blobbed up. Uh, we do have a, I think there's a reinforcement army on the way here. So this looks like it's, uh, and we have Gold Chevron General who's dismounted. I don't know if he's meant to be dismounted, but he is dismounted. Um, and yeah, so uh, he is uh, going to arrive. He's getting a nice long columns here. Very glorious. Very, very nice. And uh, yeah, it does seem as though... Oh, we've got Hobbelars here as well. So yeah, everything's tier 3, as it should be. Uh, this battle is fought in the 15th century. It's uh, fought in... Uh, 1455 so literally two years after the war of a hundred years wars over and the english have lost that they're into another war but an extra bloody one because it's englishmen killing off englishmen Enemy units have been rallied. yeah it does seem so we've got sergeants here losing in the front lines against sergeants of england this is really a, like i said a great variety it's just a big old bloody fight for this choke point but yes if you're enjoying all 12 12 ad action and would like to see some more do remember to leave a like, subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment as well if you're enjoying the medieval action. You can see here that the uh, English, I think, are winning this initial engagement, I think. Looking at like the units, you've got a lot of uh, sergeants of Welsh spearmen losing. I feel like the maybe the um, Lancastrian should be the Welsh because eventually, obviously, the Tudors take control of the Lancastrian faction and they are kind of like a Welsh descent. But anyway, we've got the sergeants here getting rear charged by uh, English knights. They're trying to break through this and they did not realize, I guess, that the knights could just nip around the sides and they've got rear charged pretty hard there. Welsh spearmen have come around to support, maybe to stop that from happening again. So yeah, they're trying to break down barricades so they can then get in a different way. Uh, we have 6,300 uh, defenders against 7,100 attackers. We've got shock and but this amount of man at arms here. Getting focused down as it comes on in. Yeah, the uh, bows here, like the longbowmen, are doing a really, really good job. They're going to need this other army here soon rather than later. I don't know how, if it can run or if it's got a march or what. They need it here soon. We've got mounted sergeants and uh, looks like a, a general here as well getting ready to, uh, to come forward. Looks like the mounted sergeants might rush in. Maybe to combat that general who, uh, I'm sorry, not that general, that cav unit here. It looks like we're going to see a charge onto the uh, spearmen here. It's a great charge. I don't really know what the unit was going for. It was going for the sergeants of the Welsh spearmen. Yeah, the uh, mounted sergeants there. I'm probably going to get dealt with very soon by the Welsh uh, cav that's coming in, as you can see, from lots of mounted sergeants rushing on in. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is like really close quarter fighting. I mean, you've got like things like knives and axes that are being used instead of like sort of your swords and spears. I feel like just the crush of these bodies is incredible. Yeah, this is sent in by a member of my Discord. A person who created this scenario. I was like, hope you're gonna you should check this out. It's a fairly cool start to a, a War of the Roses series I think they're planning to do. I think they're planning to cover like quite a few of these uh, these battles. So it'd be interesting to see which other ones they do. There are some biggies uh, like Towton uh, and I guess uh, Bosworth Field, but we have done that one before. Um, but there are some biggies that they could do, that's for sure. And they started off with the, uh, the initial engagement, which is the first Battle of St. Albans. Which kind of gives away that there are more than one battle here at St. Albans, which, uh, yeah, I think both sides win one of the battles St. Albans. Um, historically, the Yorkists win this one. Uh, whether they're going to win here today, I do not know. There's a lot of the routings Yorkists, as you can see here. We've got Spearmen uh, wavering for the uh, Lancastrians. And archers are getting focused down. Both sides use their longbows to sort of counter the other side's longbows. And we've got mountain sergeants here charging into the uh, English sergeants. To try and inflict as much damage onto these guys as possible. Men are running. Stand and fight, damn you. And it looks like they're using cav to sort of batter down these barricades. I don't know if that really is effective. Also, we have cav over here in Plong Melee. We've got spears supporting either side. To, to try and, uh, I guess, you know, give themselves running. the advantage in this, this cav fight. It's a bit hard to tell who's fighting where. I mean, the spears fighting each other at the front line here. Telling whose cav is who is pretty much impossible. And as like how it would have been like the chaos of a medieval battle, like both sides and like, I guess we're just gonna like you gotta look at like the emblems that everyone's wearing going, that's an enemy. enemy. He's wearing, I don't know, a red a red uh, rose or a white rose. I don't even know if they would have worn many roses, to be honest. Would have been absolute chaos on these sort of battlefields. But yeah, the front line is actually kind of starting to break here. The uh, archers for the attackers for the uh, uh, for the Yorkists, it's actually, you know, starting to do a lot of damage to these sergeants here, starting to waver. We are seeing reinforcements come forward, and, I mean, the defenders have plenty of shock infantry, like English foot knights back here as well. They're going to be very much needed in these choke points. Uh, so you wonder oh, whether the attackers should have saved some ammo for those, because uh, they do have pretty good um, chances of killing those guys, because they have zero missile block chance. Or very low. I don't know if it's zero, but it's pretty low. I know in TDD it's zero. Whether it is in 12 12, I actually can't remember. Here we go, Spears shunting forward. And they've broken through here. So I guess they're going to try and want to get through to these archers here, these red new longbows. I think they're okay in melee, but I'm not entirely sure. Sergeants are being sent in to try and plug the gap, and it is looking a little bit chaotic down there for the defenders. Um, yeah, the uh, fight over here is still not going so well. The Cav losing to so archers and spears, no surprise there. Really should have just got out of that fight earlier. We have got archers as well that can start to shoot into the flanks of these spears if they want to. Do some damage there. Fight, and finally, the reinforcement army has arrived, and it looks like it's going to attack on this flank here to try and, I guess, sort of send some forces, direct some defenders this direction. I mean, there are some already, but they're going to need some more here if they want to stop this fresh uh, Yorkist army from breaking through. The uh, English knights are nearly through this barricade, but it's taken them a long, long time. And more cav now on the other side. Mountain sergeants flank around this side, trying to attack archers and also shock infantry. Keep battling on, boys. That's I thought it was a general down there, the guy with the golden hat, but he's just, no, he's just got a bit of style. He has this amount of man at arms here. You're getting focused down in the back by archers right now. Even though they're having to help their uh, cavalry out, they are sacrificing themselves almost because uh, yeah, they're, they're getting focused down. Look at that, 30 of them dead already. And you can see the cav here, actually, Mount Sergeant's fo forcing their way through. They've actually broken through the sword line, and they might do the same again here. They're charging into the sides, wavering these uh, sergeants here, I don't know if you can easily see this, but yeah, look at this. The, sergeants, the mounted sergeants are nearly through. And yeah, the sword line is starting to crumble. I, a I don't know how easy it is for them to maneuver here, but they uh, need to be careful not to pull through. We also have knights in here, English knights, or the defenders. 
for the uh, Lancastrians, defending Henry the Sixth, making sure that he is uh, safe and protected. I don't know if he's actually here. Enemy I presume units he is. And to the General's battle. bodyguard. I guess one of these might be the uh, the king. I don't know if they have a king's bodyguard. Um, oh yeah, here he is, king's bodyguard. There you go. Sweet. Just as I said, so that is clearly Henry the Sixth back there. He's very much uh, safe and sound. They do actually capture him in the Battle of St Albans. They actually managed to capture his person and make him a prisoner of war. Apparently he didn't really know what a lot was going on. He was uh, supposedly a bit... Uh, not very clever, or something like that. It looks as though... Yeah, the sergeants here have actually managed to push these back. Mounted sergeants have got stuck into melee with these other uh, dismounted sergeants and they have been focused down and forced out of that front and what could have been a pretty cat catastrophic assault there uh, for the defenders they managed to stabilize just about and they've got some spears and some knights here and they look like they're going to try and maybe flank around try and do some more damage here try and get in behind these uh, attackers which are still you know struggling on the front lines here over on this side it actually looks like uh, they're nearly through as well pole arms here um, being focused down by the archers just outside the walls as Billman stood no chance and they are pretty much dead shock infantry excelling against the spears here batting through their shield wall a bit outdated those shields there boys you, the fleur de lis should not be on there you're no longer kings of France sorry, and England though they claim that they, the English kings continued to claim that they were kings of France until George the Third, which is kind of a cool fact. I mean, like they didn't even hold France at all, uh, apart from like Calais at this point. Um, so yeah, the King of Calais, maybe. There you go. We've got a breakthrough here. Looks like Cav uh, is starting to lead the way. We've got a general uh, breaking on through. I don't know if he's really doing much damage to these sergeants, but that's they are losing now. There you go. Yeah, I think that's arch fire and also uh, the general charging. Uh, so using the Cav to try and break through. They need to get spears and swords in here just to. Uh, allow the cab to pull out and they can do such uh, they can do other actions similar to the one that just there your sergeants here pressuring this flank the uh, defenders out are being attacked on a lot of flanks but yeah the English knights have managed to rear charge and break everything over here and that is devastating the Welsh spears coming up to support they've just got a few reinforcements left to go in on this flank here a lot of troops actually breaking and wavering and going and it looks like the spearmen here now going to defend this uh, this choke point and just not allow the uh, attackers back inside. They want to kind of secure this area. And yeah, with this uh, English knight chasing down these sergeants, they are actually trapping everything inside as well. We've got Hobblars over here. So there's a Javi Cav unit. These guys just, you know, jabbing into the uh, spearmen, trying to weaken them a little bit. I mean, they've got a great missile block. They're a Pavi spear, pretty much. They're going to stop most of the javelins nice and easily. It's not looking good right now for the Yorkist cause. You see the fighting still going on in the street. Archers coming in trying to support the attackers. Sergeants, yeah, they are winning this fight, no surprise. They've got more troops here ready to support. Shock infantry here is going to uh, beat them back. I don't know if it's because of archers or whether it's uh, other stuff. But yeah, the, um, you can see here these uh, archers. I mean, they're focusing on swords, which is great, but could they just not kill the swords with other swords? They should be really focusing things down like these English foot knights, which are winning decisively down here against the Welsh man at arms. Using their axes and their sort of hammers to try and batter through the armor. And there you go, I think they've scared off the, uh, uh, the Yorkists there. I really want to keep calling the attackers the Lancastrians, it's just not right at all. Oh, this is not good, a general is trapped inside the settlement. It's getting focused down as well by archers over here. So 
So there's about five, six units of rest in your archers there, focusing him down. And then also the Cav is just here just to pin him in and just hold the line and just allow the archers to just focus him down in the back. And it looks like I'm seeing a lot of the reinforcing army now shift from this flank over here and they go all the way around here to try and attack through here. And no wonder they've managed to... They managed to break through? I really don't know. Are they sneaking up this gap here, maybe? I don't know if they can. With Pathfinder, that must be how they got here, because there's two speed. It's inside the walls. It's being battered by, uh, looks like, shock and retreat, or sergeants and shock and retreat. Yeah, they're losing. No surprise there. I haven't really got any support and they're wavering. Wow, 120 men, they're wavering. Incredible stuff. Um, over on this side here, yeah, the attack is kind of forward. They're running out of reserves, running out of uh, manpower. And it looks like they're going to have to uh, try something else. We're going to try and batter through this spear line. They are now shooting these English foot knights, which is good to see, but a little the late. They should have been attacked been from earlier. And there you go, Excellent. General has been killed. I think that is... Oh, he's, at, he's here now. He's pulled out of that combat and he's now gone into uh, the combat over here against Spears that is one uh, of the Welsh armies one of the Yorkist armies without a general and I think we're going to see a rear charge here from English foot knight or English knights into the back of these swords here and this should be devastating there you go this cav unit might rout might die but uh, it's all be worth it It'll be worth it. They'll take that sergeant with them, absolutely. Numbers now are 3,800 against about 3,800. It is finally balanced. Is this siege a battle? I don't know if it's really a, a siege as such. They kind of get just having a normal battle inside the settlement. We've got a general fighting man at arms here, which I think is like the knights or the Welsh. Yeah, it looks like General's bodyguard wants to get stuck in and help try and route these uh, these guys, two of them now in there. I don't know if uh, Henry's Henry VI come forward yet, has he? Oh, he is, isn't he? He's getting stuck in, the king's the bodyguard. To admit defeat. It'd they be a bit clueless, like, what am I doing here? Why am I fighting my own subjects, probably? But you'd understand. They're traitors they need dealing with. But yeah, we've got a uh, cabinet charging out here. Looks like he's going to just try and take out some of these sergeants. Probably should go after these archers, try and silence them. There is no cab coming over as well. We've got mounted enemy. sergeants here trying to deal with this little sally out that's going on. They're going to be like taking advantage of that. They're like, yes, please, we'll kill that cab and that sword that's sallied out. It's easy kills for them. Yes, yeah, still the struggle goes on. The balance power is shifting in favor of the defenders. They now have about 100 man advantage. Fighting continues, the bodies are piling up. And then, yeah, you can see General's body got it. I mean, they just need to charge in and get a nice side charge. Like, this General is just stunning. If you get a nice side charge into the side of that, uh, that speed, if it's not looking at you, hit it. Hit it in the back, hit it in the side, whatever you got to do. Um, somehow the sergeant has also won against the English knights over here. It's incredible. Our Surprised by that. And there you go, the, the mounted sergeant. Managing to break some of this, uh, this sally out that's going on here by the by the Lancastrians. And it looks like the mounted sergeant is going to go in again. Stop them, boys. Stop them up. Spearmen, actually, even though there's not many of them left, holding strong. Well, as I say that, they start to lose. Of course they do. It's the commentator's curse. Shock infantry's coming down to help. It's Our another target for the uh, cab to hit there. And the shock infantry. 
forcing these spears back. They'll have to jump over the wall if they want to survive, break their legs, or lose their life. It's not a great option. And uh, yeah, it looks like they are done for the uh, Welsh generals here trying to re rally, re rally the boys. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this battle. And if you ever want to get involved in any sort of scenario battles yourself, feel free to join my Discord. The link is down below in the description. It's the best place to go to get involved in any historical battles. Oh, that guy's got a... Got sort of a, a rose on him. It's got some trees in it as well. A white rose, I must, must add. He's a traitor, a Yorkist. Fighting for the Lancastrians. Despicable stuff. Yeah, lots of green uh, sword, cross swords here now for the defenders of seeing English foot knights. I mean, the King's bodyguard, he's pulling out, but he's still winning that fight. The enemy have rallied their if they keep side charging, these units here, they'll slowly whittle through them. It seems like the main force is left over here now, which is just really archers and cavs. It's not really a lot of infantry. Um, though this is an infantry push. They're going to keep scythe charging the spear, it seems. That's what they're going to keep doing. And then, yeah, so they might break through. I, mean, I don't know if the cav can really do too much. I do remember the days when the hobblers were a light... Uh, shock cap. I didn't realize that they changed it to a skirmish cap. Kind of interesting. Kind of gives England a little bit more of a, I don't know, variety. Longbows are now having to hold this front line here for the defenders. I don't think they're that low on troops, but maybe they're just resting up the more, the more elite troops. It looks like, oh, we've got a general's bodyguard over here. He's sending that general pack and he's like, how dare you attack my my longbows, my precious longbowmen. And looks like, uh, yeah, there's a amount of man at arms here. Yeah, it's carving through those longbowmen. They might want to get uh, some other stuff in there, like the heavy billmen. Get them in there. They can counter those man at arms very nicely. So we'll keep them at a distance, a safe distance. Fighting boys, uh, they've got some troops routing. Oh yeah, they're routing the wrong way though. What we've got here, spear militia. Some, some of the drakes. Literally holding back the Lancastrians right now with one tiny sword unit. Men have regrouped. Oh, well, this one, I guess, is sort of holding them back as well. But the Lancastrians could break out any time and probably start to do us a decent amount of damage. Uh, is this general dismounted? No, he's still mounted. There is a dismounted one somewhere. He's not here, though. It might be that one all the way back there, actually. It's the gold chevron. This flank's looking definitely, like, possible the attackers. I mean, they've got Billman here and Shock Infantry. There isn't a lot left here that could uh, break through this, uh, like, needs to break through that side. It's 2,500 against 2,400, so yeah. Again, the attackers are not far off, you know, getting sort of, like, the advantage again. Whether these archers could shoot into the Billman, probably do some damage to them, but it looks like, actually, the Bill, yeah, the Billman for the attackers are winning, so it might not be an issue. Yeah, if the archers wanted to, they could shoot into the backs of these swords, try and win the fight there for the uh, shock infantry. Do not 
They're going to bait out these swords, aren't they? They're going to bait out the swords and they're going to charge them with the cav, yeah. That's a, a cheeky little move there. I don't think that's a fault by the players, just the uh, the unit just, you know, continuing its uh, its attack after you give them an attack order. Yeah, that's, they're going to lose that sword for that. That's really smartly done there by the attacker. Both sides now at 2,400 men. It's still very much in the balance. The, uh, the pole arms don't really do much to each other here. They're both even as well. I feel like you need some archers here to someone to turn this around. Ah, and here we go. The defenders provide some rest new longbows. I imagine these guys are going to set up in uh, this tiny unit. I never realized. And I think they're going to start shooting into the side of that buildman there. And they'll probably turn that around. They've also got some more if they wanted to. And, uh, yeah, I think that's the last sort of chance that the attacks have got of really breaking in. If they destroy this opportunity here, yeah, the buildmen are losing. Uh, sorry, are uh, winning. Um, but yeah, if they can manage to uh, silence this building, they've got a good chance, I think, of, uh, of winning this one, the defenders. Mountain Sergeant's here actually nearly shattered through the spear line here. And it looks like we're going to see a general be shifted over, along with some sergeants, I think, have returned. But yeah, the Mountain Sergeant's there, falling back, are now starting to die. We're going to see the dismounted man at arms go. It's a nice cycle of units there by both sides. Or really by the attackers, you know, getting, uh, getting him. The cav, then pulling it out and getting the shock in there. Spear unit had no time to rest. General's bodyguard needs to be careful. He's not going to get uh, really too sucking in a long melee here with the dismounted man at arms, but it looks like he's going to rouse it anyway. Some more stuff coming over here. Oh, archers. Well, these guys still have ammo. They should not be going into melee just yet. Let, let them maybe shoot down that general a little bit more or do something. Well, like I said, you probably need to kill this heavy bill, man. But it looks as though um, the attackers are kind of really out of ideas. They don't really know what they're doing uh, at this point. I mean, they haven't got much left that they can, like, you know, break through with. The, what they've got left is a lot of calves, archers, um, mineral shock, or, or just sword infantry to really break through. They've still got, like, one healthy sergeant here. Uh, but that is really yeah, Everything on that far side is pretty bad and seen a lot of action. And there you go. Yeah, the mountain sergeants tried to break through. Just kind of just got themselves impaled on spim, and I think that's all they achieved there. And they could send in the archers, I guess, into melee, try and, you know, enemy. fill the ranks with a bit more mass, but I don't know if that's really going to uh, achieve a lot. And I think, yeah, the general's actually charging out. Bold here from the uh, Lancastrian player. And his riders, yeah, overextended. He's trying to pull back the general. Hopefully he doesn't lose it. He's still at half strength. He should be okay, but lost a lot of that bodyguard uh, pretty frivolously there. And I think the Bellman down here is starting to lose. I think they are starting to get focused, yeah. Starting to get absolutely focused down by those English longbowmen. The Yorkists clearly made a mistake by rebelling here today. It looks like, uh, I think the battle is pretty wrapped up. I'm going to fast forward through a few of this now and just see whether uh, they do anything. It doesn't seem like um, they've attacked on this side in a little while. And looks like they looks like the uh, defenders quite have to sit here with their billmen. And looks like the attackers aren't going to charge in. Well, actually, I say that spear militia might. Uh, there is two minutes left of this battle, but there's definitely far too many men for them just to uh, master out. So I wonder whether we're just going to see uh, one side running, concede. Cowards. I imagine it will be the attack as if it's going to be anyone that's going to concede. Don't think a mass trial is going to take place. Both sides have about 2,000 men left. So very evenly matched. But it's just the number is what they have left is, um, yeah, for the one side is just, is a, they've got a lot of shock to start with. There's a lot of these sh shocks still. I've still got a healthy shock here. They've actually have broken through. The attackers have actually managed to get in. Our men run from the enemy. This is shameful. There you go. Hobblars and, uh, and archers is all you need to break through this city. I'm going to see the mountain sergeants come up. I wonder if they're going to smash into uh, the shock here. Yep, they are. There you go. In they go. And 
the shock. Actually, I don't think it's dying too badly. I think I wonder whether the spear unit that's retreating actually took the charge, and then the shock is just you know yeah, it's actually winning that fight now against the Mount Zion. That is a, a nice surprise, and yeah, all the shocks is going to pile on in and just try and kill these guys. They are trying to hold them back. The archers and the assaults here really can't go with many places, and it looks like uh, we're going to see. In about, yeah, 20 odd seconds, we're going to see, I think, a Yorkist concede. And the Lancastrians are going to change history and win the first battle of St. Albans. A glorious day for House Lancaster. And Henry the uh, and Henry the Sixth is victorious here today. A Pyrrhic victory. And we'll quickly look at some of the end results. So, yeah, this was sent in by Ike. He was playing as uh, one of the English armies. I think he's playing as uh, Henry VI himself. With his uh, king's bodyguard here. So he's got 162 kills with them. He's uh, uh, dismounted uh, like English foot knights. Getting uh, 198 kills here. 247 with another there. And then we've got the uh, Spears getting 159 kills. Billman 108. His sergeants 188 kills. And his archers 200 kills. And one of his cav getting 576 kills. Then we have Geo playing as the uh, Second Kingdom of England or the Second Lancastrian Army. 222 kills with his uh, general before. It looks like he fell or maybe routed. Uh, the Billman getting 116 kills. His uh, sergeants getting 60 kills. And the uh, retinue longbows getting 130. And then his uh, English knights getting 182, uh, 81 kills. Then we have Jack playing as the third and final uh, Lancastrian army. 191 kills with his English knights there. His bows getting 120, 127 his sergeants 150, the billman 124. And then we have Confused Fruit playing as um, one of the Yorkist armies, 104 kills with his uh, general there, 126 kills with the uh, man at arms, uh, 195 with the sergeants, 101 with one of his archers, 104 with another one here, um, and then 119 down here with another one. So he did okay with his archers actually. Then Fjord playing as uh, the second. Uh, Yorkist army getting 177 kills with his dismounted men at arms, 157 with another there, 123 with the billman, 115 with the sergeants, 170 kills with his archers, 132 kills with another there, and his uh, mounted sergeants, 114 kills. Then based a uh, team maker playing as the uh, final uh, attacker, getting 124 kills with his king, and then he's got 165 uh, kills with his archers. And then 126, 121 with some more there. And the Cav again, really suffering in this one. But there you go, guys. That is today's battle. I hope you did enjoy the first battle of St. Albans. Certainly was a fun one. If you want to see more 1212 AD action in the future, do let, remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, hit that notification bell and leave a comment and all that shenanigans. And I hope you enjoy the content that's now appearing on your screen. But until next time, I'll see you in the next one.